Hello everyone. I was recently asked uh, how to share a USB drive out on a DDWRT um, enhanced router. And um, so I'm going to make a, a, a video here showing you how to do that in the most basic of ways. Basically we're going to plug a uh, USB device into the router and share it out to the entire network uh, in the most simple way as possible. Uh, what you're going to need of course is a uh, DDR DDWRT uh, flash router. Uh, I'm using the TP-Link TL-WDR4300 version 1 and uh, I'm sure this will work just fine on other routers that have USB ports on them and support the DDWRT firmware. Now I'm going to assume that you know how to upgrade your firmware on your router as, you're prob as you probably did this uh, to get DDWRT on your router you need to upgrade from the stock router firmware, which in my case is the 21061, to the 25697 version. You want to do this because that 21061 uh, is a very buggy um, and actually doesn't share out uh, USB drives very easily. Uh, and the 25697 fixes a lot of issues with that. So. I strongly recommend that you upgrade to the 25697. Uh, th what I'm going to show you in this video will, will not work properly with 21061. I'm going to put a, a, a link in the video description for the firmware to this router and to all routers to go up to that uh, 25697 if they are, you know, compatible. Use an appropriate, uh, use the appropriate firmware for your router. Uh, use the wrong firmware for your router and you're going to be in a heap of trouble. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to need a USB storage device. A, a thumb drive will do just fine. A 1 gig thumb drive will work. Um, I'm going to be using a uh, external USB hard drive. Uh, it's a 1 terabyte Toshiba 2.5 um, inch drive. I'm going to put the link for that also as well in the description. And basically I'm going to use it to you know store files or whatever. So we're going to format the drive and plug it into the uh, router. When you format the drive, you have several different options. You have a FAT32, which is good for USB thumb drives and even disk drives if you want to go that big. I recommend using NTFS. You can go with EXT2 or 3, which is a Linux file system. If you know how to do that, then go for it. I'm going to, again, go with NTFS. FAT32 can't store files larger than 4 gigs, so if you're if you're going to be storing large files like ISOs or big movies or whatever and they're over 4 gigs you're going to have to split them up into smaller than 4 gig bytes to get them to work which is a real pain uh, but if you need FAT32 for some reason then understand that you cannot put a bigger than 4 gigabyte file on that drive it'll just tell you there's no space now you can put 40 uh, 3.9 gigabyte files on there no problem at all but try putting one 4 gigabyte file on there and it will tell you you cannot do it. Uh, FAT32 can also not format a drive larger than 2 terabytes so if you have a 3 terabyte drive that's going to be an issue and Windows 7 will not natively format a FAT32 drive larger than 32 gigs but there is a workaround for that I've made a video on how to do that if you need to actually use a FAT32 drive that's bigger than 32 gigs up to you. Again, ext and ext, sorry, ext2 and ext3 are Linux file systems, and there's the limitations at the bottom of the screen there, uh, what they can do. Okay, so it's up to you. But I'm going with a basic setup uh, using NTFS and a basic share. So let's get at that. Let me escape this. Now, first thing you're gonna, I'm going to do is format my drive. I'll show you how to do that. So click on your Windows uh, button, right-click uh, computer and then go to manage and once you're on manage um, we're gonna go to disk management I'm gonna stress this very strongly make sure you're formatting the correct drive if you format the wrong drive you're gonna erase data and you're gonna lose data so, okay so be very very certain you know which drive you're you're uh, formatting in my case you can see that I have two drives identical in size they're both uh, one terabyte drives and uh, they're both Toshiba's I actually harvested one out of, out of one, one uh, out of one of these backup uh, uh, drives and put it into my computer but uh, I've labeled the one that I want to format here as USB storage and it's E drive you know your system files will be on C 
uh, you know, up here you can see which drive those are on. So do not format that drive. So let's just get that at this. Let's format this drive. Now, so I'm going to hit uh, right click on the partition that I want to format. Again, I know which one I'm doing. I even labeled it USB storage. So, and format. And I'm going to leave the label the same. Now, you can see here that I have options on file system, but the only two I have are NTFS and EXFAT. Well, EXFAT will not work with the router, so uh, at least not currently. Uh, NTFS will work no problem at all. So, and notice that there is no FAT32 here because the drive's over 32 gigs. But again, like I said, I got a workaround for that. If you need it, look in the video description and I'll give you the link to the video that shows you how to do it. Now, um, you want to perform a quick format unless you're really picky and you want to, you know, do a sector by sector format where it checks for errors. I know my drive is good, so I'm cho choosing perform a quick format, NTFS, and uh, the allocation size. I'm going with the default, so I'm just going to hit OK. Formatting this volume, we erase all the data on it, right? So make sure you know that you're doing the right one and back up your data if if uh, there's any data on it, because it's going to be gone the second you hit OK. Okay, so it's formatting it. All right, so there, it's done, basically. So at this point, um, what I'm going to do is go here, right-click this, and uh, set it to, um, actually, I don't even need to do that. It's in a USB device. I'm just going to unplug it. Okay. There, I've unplugged it, and now it's off the computer. Um, now, let's go to the browser. Okay, so we're opening up the browser. Uh, we're going to go to the to the router at this point, which in my case is 192.168.3.1. Uh, in in the, the default number would be 192.168.1.1. Uh, if you're running the default IP address on your router, uh, go to 1.1, not 3.1, but that's where mine is, so I'm just going to do that. Hit enter on that. Of course, it's going to ask me for a username and a password. Put yours in. And hit OK. All right, and then we're at the default uh, web page, the setup page. Uh, we need to go to services, the services tab. And then we're going to go to USB. And here you'll see that the core USB support is disabled. So we want to enable that. Then you get the drop down or further options. And you want to enable USB storage. We're not doing USB printer. I have a video on that already. And you want automatic drive mount. So we're going to hit enable on that. And here you have another option you may or may not have on your router, depending on the router. But the WDR does have this option. Use, uh, sorry, WDR 4300 version 1. So it says use SES button to remove the drive. And what that does is that when you hit the button on the back of your uh, uh, router, it, it unmounts the drive cleanly, which saves you drive errors or data data loss. So I'm going to click OK on that or enable on that. And at this point, I'm going to hit Apply Settings. Note that the USB drive has not been plugged into the system yet. You, do, you plug in your drive into the router after you do this. So then I'm going to hit Save, which saves my settings. And next, we plug in the router. So I'm going to plug the router in the back. Uh, one of the two back ports on my router, doesn't really matter which one. All right, and my drive is flashing, which tells me that the router is actually looking at it. And because it's a two and a half inch laptop drive, really, uh, external laptop drive, it can be powered by the USB port. If you have a larger drive, like a, a full size hard drive, you can have to power it up and plug it in as well. Uh, so you get a bunch of uh, information on the drive. It's an NTFS file system. Great. That's what we formatted it as. Uh, it sees the full drive. And what's really important down here is that dev SDA1 mounted to temp mount uh, uh, temp MNT SDA1. What this means is basically Linux speak for your drive is mounted and ready to go. So you should see this on the bottom. Okay. If you don't have that on the bottom, something didn't go correctly. So I would say unplug it again. Try it try it in the other port or uh, make sure you format your drive correctly and that you're using the right firmware for this uh, router. So next we got to share it out to the network. Um, again make sure you hit apply and saved at the bottom here. I'm not sure whether they did that or not but 
uh, just for the for kicks. I'm going to do it again. I always do that 